So yo, what is up? What is going on guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. So if you guys are new, hit that subscribe button down below and let's get right into the video. So you guys probably know a YouTuber called Ben TK. He does some really, really cool travel videos. And if you haven't seen his Thailand video, check it out. I'll leave a link in the description, but I'm going to show you how to do this effect from his Thailand video. <laughs> So as you can see in that shot, the tattoo sort of glows up and he zooms through all these different shapes. So I'm not going to go through and show you how to do that exact thing, but I'm going to sort of break it down and show you how to do a more simpler version of that effect. And once you've done the simple version, you'll be able to do that more complex version that will take a good couple of hours. So yeah, for this effect, you're going to need one plugin, which is Sabre. And Sabre is a free plugin, so I'll leave a link in that. So for this effect, you're going to need one plugin, which is called Saber. Saber is a flea. So to do this effect, you're going to need two things, After Effects and Saber, which is a plugin for After Effects. You can download it for free. I'll leave a link in the description down below. So we're here in After Effects now, and I'm going to go through a little bit more of a simple way to do this effect. Obviously, after you watch the tutorial, you can go off and play around with it and see what you can sort of come up with. But obviously, Ben TK probably spent a good couple hours making his effect look very very good so what i'm going to do with my triangle right here is just draw a mask around it so just like this really really simple and i've got a black background just like that so what we're going to do is come over to the effects and presets search for your saber effect because after you download it this is where you will find it drag this on to the layer what you want to do now is come over to the customize core core type change it from saber to layer mask. So as you can see, we just kind of got these lightsaber looking thing right now. So what you can actually do is come over to preset where it says default, just come down and you can select a bunch of different ones. For this tutorial, I'm gonna go for the burn-in effect. And again, you can still play around with all the glow type and the way it moves within the settings like distort, flicker, glow settings and render settings as well. Um, I would suggest if it was you, just go through it, have a little play around and see what you can sort of come up with. <clears throat> so as you can see, I've got my triangle right here. What I'm going to do is make sure this is selected as a 3D layer. Hit Control C and then Control V to copy it. Hit S on the keyboard and then just scale it up a little bit. So just about there will be quite good. And then just repeat that a few times to get a few different triangles. So Control C, Control V, hit S and scale it up a little bit. Again, you want to do the same thing, Control c Control v hit S, and scale it up a little bit. Just like that, I'm going to repeat that a few times and I'll be right back. Alright, so I've got something that looks like this right now. What I'm going to do is come over here, hit right click, click on new, and create a new camera. Hit enter, everything should be fine. Come down to the transform, and hit the keyframe button at the start of the clip on point of interest, position, and the Z rotation. So now you've done that, come to about two seconds in or, or so. And on the position at the end, just rotate that all the way in to where you can't really see the triangles anymore. And again, on the rotation, if you come to the middle of the clip, just so you can see the triangles and rotate this a little bit. So I don't know, something a little bit like that by 100% or whatever, drag that to around two seconds as well. Once you've done that, make sure you have all your clips selected and there's a little thing where you can just add motion blur. Hit that and make sure all the clips have motion blur added to them. So once you that, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. So as you can see, it's got a nice bit of motion blur and it looks quite good. It zooms through quite nicely. If you wanted to add more motion blur, come over here, select new and then create an adjustment layer. Come over to the effects and presets and search for CC force motion blur and drag that onto the adjustment layer and that's going to create a lot more motion blur for you. Again, you can play around with the settings, but once you add it on, it looks quite good just as it is. But yeah, you can also use the point of interest just to sort of give it that curve sort of effect. Obviously, this makes it look a little bit more like the camera's moving. So as you can see, it kind of gives it a little bit more movement in the shot. That is just sort of the basics of how you go through and do this effect. From now, it's just sort of up to you guys on how creative you are and how much you want to add on to this effect and how much time you want to put into it. Obviously, Ben TK probably spent a good couple hours playing around with the effect to try and get something quite good. If you're going to be doing this, make sure you've got a powerful computer because my computer is honestly almost dying at this rate. It cannot handle this. 
So hopefully this video helped you understand sort of how to go through this effect and now you should be able to make it a little bit more complex by spending a little bit more time on it. But yeah, that's been it from me today. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, comment down below. Let me know what I should do next and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.